I'm Sean Doherty, uh, of course, um, from uh, Perth here, but I'm connected with uh, um Kjöldorien, which is the Irish Musicians Association here in Perth. And um, Kjöldorien has been here since 1981. The, the first thing to, to know about the bowing in fiddle playing, well, any music that's played with the fiddle, is that there's no definitive um, bow style. Uh, you, you, yeah, that's why if you buy a music book, uh, Irish book with all the Irish tunes in it, there'll be no bowing in it because <laughs> nobody is going to put, put out the bowing and say, well, that's the right bowing because there's no absolute right bowing. You know, everybody, every fiddle player is going to bow the pieces according to how they learned it themselves, maybe from the influence from their teacher or their own personality and things like that. So, But the bowing is very, very important. It does make the difference to the end product, no question about it. And um, you can't really say, well, um, well, if we play all um, all the notes in one bow and one bow, no, no, that's not right. You might play some of them, yeah, maybe you are. You might play all single bows in one bow. It it all depends on the tune, uh, which is whether it's a pork or a jig or a reel or a hornpipe. They all have different things that's going to determine the type of bowing you're going to do. I typically take each tune individually, but the jigs as a group, uh, I would tend to do some slurred bowing and some single bowing, mix it up a little bit. Um, some uh, different type, if you listen to Scottish fiddle playing, they do a lot of single bowing. They play a lot of the jigs with single bowing. It's lovely, very uh, punchy, very strong rhythm in it. The Irish fiddle playing is more legato, more like not as bouncy, uh, because we do some slurs and play some slurs. That's the jigs. But the reels is a different kettle of fish altogether. The reels, every reel has to be treated individually from the bowing point of view and it's really really important that you uh, try and get with somebody teaching that has played fairly at a good standard you know to get try and get their their bowing because uh, it's very difficult for the ordinary person to pick up the fiddle and to get the bowing right in the fiddle you might get it right in the jigs and the hornpipes and that you probably get it right but the reels is a different kettle of fish it's very it's complex the reels are complex really in composition and then the bowing has to be a certain type of bowing that's going to handle that because it's played at, played at a fair speed and all that sort of thing so i know to get the dynamics and the rhythm and everything running there the bowing is got to be somewhere in certain order that's going to get it right um the horn pipes uh, i think i mentioned earlier there you can do a lot of single bowing in the horn pipes you know they're there that's fairly you know fairly easy you can get that but it's got to be a very controlled bowing uh, there are some of the horn pipes that are that we call uh, listening horn pipes. You know that you can nice to listen to, and you can play them with the more legato, you know, some slurs in that as well. Uh, but uh, most of the horn pipes, nice and uh, can be played with a lot of single bowing. I, I certainly play with a lot of single bows anyway. Um, um, pork is again a bit of mixed bowing, some slurs and some some single bows, a bit like the jigs. Mix them up to get a nice change of style in what you're doing there. The bowing. You must uh, remember it's probably the most important part of the of the fiddle. <laughs> what you do with the bow is probably really, really, really important. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, I'll play um, a jig to demonstrate the single bowing. Uh, here's this uh, beginner jig. It's a very simple jig, this one. So now they're all single bows. So what I'm doing there, I'm playing all single bows and I'm not putting any emphasis, not playing any dynamics into the into the tune at all because um, there's in the jig there's two beats in each bar. So therefore there's got to be a strong note coming in at the beginning of the bar and at number four quaver in the bar. So I'll play that piece again and I'm going to do some slurs and I'm going to put the dynamics in. Instead of going... Got that emphasis coming in exactly twice in the bar there. So that again. So, uh, <clears throat> so that at the very beginning there, I'm playing a, a dotted crotchet in that first one. So we often then play that first like this, putting a roll in there. So I played the B roll the first time I played this one. Wrong B. Now I'm playing a roll. 
So you because opportunity to put uh, an or, you know ornamentation in. So instead of playing that long B, I playing a B roll there, the second time. So you're not playing the tune the same. You play it slightly different each time you come through, putting maybe ornamentation in one time and then playing it just in a simple fashion the next time. And then you know introducing slurs in here and there and single bow and get a nice mixture in the, in the, in the flow of it. Yeah. So yeah. So that's a bit of a just a, just a short demonstration of. Um, the, how important the bow is, what you're going to do with it, yeah. Thanks very much for watching this video. We hope you have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm Sean Doherty from Colthus, Perth in Western Australia.